It was a modern day religious war, a blood feud that raged out of control. The 1948 Nakba, which saw 80% of Palestinians expelled from their homes, radically transformed the Middle East. Palestinians who remained within the borders of the new state found themselves transformed from living as Arabs in Palestine into a Palestinian minority within Israel. The Palestinian minority from the period can be divided into two groups. Those who remained in their homes and those who were displaced from their homes but remained within Israel. The displaced were classed as present absentees by Tel Aviv and were often refused the right to return to their properties or to reclaim them. Being a citizen of Israel did not protect Palestinians from expulsion from their homes after the 1948 war. Yahusha Palmon, born in Palestine to Russian Jewish settlers who spoke Arabic and served in the Haganah's Arabic section, was one of the key advisors to Prime Minister David Ben-Gurion on Arab affairs. Palmon regarded the Palestinians in Israel as a threat and pushed for hawkish policies against them. In 1949, he arranged for the expulsion of Palestinians from Majdal, despite being citizens, to make way for the Israeli city of Ashkelon. They were deported to Gaza and it was only in 1958 that Israel adopted a policy against the population transfer of Palestinians. The threat of deportation was routinely made by Israeli leadership. Palestinian villages near the Syrian or West Bank border were frequently threatened with expulsion. Some were in fact expelled. While some Israeli politicians felt it was unnecessary to be so harsh on the Palestinian minority, others wanted to go much further. Ben-Gurion believed they posed a threat to the Jewish identity of the state and military rule was the best solution. He contemplated ramping up expulsions or forcefully converting them to Judaism. Tel Aviv developed a system of military rule to govern the lives of Palestinians while Jewish citizens enjoyed full democratic rights. The military rule was based on the British Mandate's emergency regulations and it entailed regional army commanders supervising governors of Palestinian communities. The commanders had executive, legislative and judicial powers over the minority population. According to historian Ilan Pape, the military rule can be divided up into two periods, 1948 to 1957 and 1957 to 1966. The first period can be characterised as Israel's attempts to downsize the Palestinian population. The second period saw a softening of these positions and more emphasis on managing the population. In towns and cities, military rule was felt indirectly, as civilian authorities were used to control the population, while rural areas were directly controlled by the army. Palestinian freedom of movement was restricted. Palestinians needed permission to travel to another place outside of their area. Administrative detention or arrest without charge was routinely used. Curfews were sometimes imposed, checkpoints were set up on entrance to villages and, similar to the situation in the West Bank today, people could be made to wait in long lines and prevented from getting to work or nearby hospitals. 